Hi, this is Ball 1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on Xbox and today I've got the fifth in my series of Hex Beams for All. This is my series where I have 1v1s with people in my Beam de Lance, my preferred 1v1 ship. Uh, it's, I enjoy fighting in this ship because it's just so silly and the bright beams and it's a fun gimbal scrub build that suits my really bad flying style. Uh, today I'm taking on someone that had a bounty on them. I was actually down here helping him. Uh, kill members of the opposition because they all had bounties on them but then he agreed to have a bounty uh, a nice little one v one with me to uh, help me claim a bounty that was on him uh, I'd already tried to claim a bounty that was on him the day before with Frodo and Frodo had managed to get two kills on him but I hadn't managed it uh, so when I was down here with Panda he agreed to one v one and it is a great way of getting someone who's got a bounty on them to fight you to the death is get them to agree to a one v one I mean you know Cut out all the running around, chasing them system to system and all that rubbish. Or tracking them across the galaxy. You know, a nice convenient 1v1. All fun and fair games. Um, now he's in a frag crate. He's trying to um, get in there and brawl with me. Unfortunately, this is a really bad matchup for him. Um, just by definition, he's using fixed frags. I'm going to sit there and orbit. And also, I have a very, very strong shield and a very strong shield tank. Occasionally I will dip in and ram because yeah, I'll well, just really like twat is hot. Um, one of the problems with the crate is their armor value is only 55, which is pretty weak. Um, if it was higher, they'd be more effective a ship. It's just one of those things. Um, I run a bi reef crate. I love it. It's got loads of hull armor points, but the 55 armor rating is what kind of lets it down a little bit. Uh, that's why I don't use it as one of my main line. Uh, PvP ships. I built it for a tournament. I'm still experimenting with him and tweaking it and um, It's my only pure plasma build so I may have some more fun with it in the future when I've finished the engineering on it anyway uh, Here is Frodo um, Getting his bounty in the weirdest way I've ever seen this is a blink and you'll miss it weird moment as Frodo attacks this commander and you know tries to take him out very very quickly before he gets out of range in that eagle and as the commander is just about to get away an npc anaconda drops in in front of him and kills him yeah um so i didn't know frodo had magic abilities but yeah anaconda i choose you and he summons one out of nowhere and gets the kill some people are just blessed i think but <laughs> i got my my kill the old-fashioned way a fun 1v1 duel and uh, like I say, just a really bad matchup for him. It's not, um, it's not a fun matchup. But if you haven't got any chaff, a gimbal scrub build can be surprisingly effective, um, especially if you're going to let me ram you. Um, he obviously hasn't heard the, the rumours, the don't let oddball ram you type thing, because um, I will, because I don't care, and I've come out probably better in the ram because I built my ship super strong. I can't believe this is the fifth installment already so if you want to get on this before I finish uh, and all the space matters purged from my system if you want to fight in a 1v1 with my beam balance feel free to challenge me I'm still taking offers at the moment uh, how much longer I'll go on for I do not know uh, but this is another episode in the can um, I've lost track of how many jewels I've already had it's not like seven or eight jewels so far there's some people already asking for rematches so this series will go on for a little bit longer but anyway that's all thank you very much for watching i'll catch you in the next one let me know what you think in the comments down below that was a cool 150 million credits i made from that sweet